The Pecker, committed to providing the best performance diagnostic tools for our customers. Our products include the VPECKER EZ Diog, VPECKER E4, and VPECKER U3. Today I'd like to introduce the VPECKER EZ Diog. There are two versions for VPECKER EZ Diog. One is the Bluetooth version, which is colored dark blue, and the other is a Wi Fi version, which is colored black. Now let's open it. This dark blue device is VPECKER's Easy Diog Bluetooth. Please note there is a Bluetooth dongle, so the Bluetooth version is a little more expensive than the VPECKER Wi Fi. This is VPECKER Easy Diog Wi Fi. We have color black and green in stock. So, in the package, you will get a quick start guide, password envelope, and Bluetooth VCI or Wi-Fi VCI, depending on your orders. Before running the VPECKER Easy Dialog, we need to install the software first. Now click the website hyperlink www.vpecker.com. Go to the software center. Find the latest version VPECKER E1 setup. Download. Open. Click Next. Next. Install. Finish. The VPECKER software is appearing on the desktop. At first, please keep your network running. Run VPECKER app. Then click iDoTech Store to get applications. Please enter the SNN number and password from inside the envelope. And then click Login. If the product is not activated, please click Yes. Please input your information. The email address and country are required. And then click Activate. Now you will receive the activate email from VPECKER. Open your email box. Click the link to activate your device. Activation successful. Click yes to log in the iDoTech store again and get the apps upgraded. But before that, we should connect the VPECKER EZ Diog with your vehicles. If your device is the VPECKER Bluetooth version, insert the device into the OBD2 interface. Start the ignition switch. The indication light should turn on red. Click Add Device. Find and select the Bluetooth device. Click Next. Enter the device's pairing code. The pairing code is 1234 or 0000. zero, zero, zero. Input and Next. This device has been successfully added to this computer. If your device is VPECKER Wi-Fi version, insert the device to the OBD2 interface and start your ignition switch. 
Find the Wi-Fi signal. Connect. If the light turns blue, it means Wi-Fi connection is successful. Log in again to download the software. There are two modes for downloading, one by one and one click. It may take a long time to download all your software, depending on your network speed. Now, let's do a diagnosis example. Click Diagnosis Service. Click OBD2. It will show code coverage. Downloading Communication Program Now. Click Diagnostics. Click Engine Detect System Data. It's showing the engine information. Click Trouble Code. Read DTCs. Then it will be reading Fault Code. Clear DTCs. Yes. Erase Fault Code successfully. Click O2 Monitoring Test. Oxygen Sensor Bank 1. Communicating. This function is not available for this vehicle, but may be available for others. OK. Current powertrain diagnostic data. Click to next page. Select long-term fuel trim. Next. Select Coolant Temperature. Click the Wave button. Calculated Load Value. Wave. Go to Number of DTC Stored. Calculated Load Value. Next. Click the Record button to start data recording. Then click the Stop button to stop recording. Click the play button. It will show the recording data list. Select one of them to replay the recording data. If you finish the vehicle testing, please pull off the VPECKER device. Please subscribe to our channel to get more information about VPECKER products. Thank you 